In this video, I'm going to show you how to improve your MacBook Pro camera quality with a free tool. Let's do this. Hey, it's Ozzy here from the callmehoz.com where I talk about the tools that I'm using to generate income online as a solopreneur. And in this channel, I share tutorials as well as all the great tools that I keep finding. So if this helps you in any way, please subscribe and I'll keep you posted. Okay, so in this video, I wanna show you how to improve your camera quality on your MacBook Pro. And I use a MacBook Pro and the camera quality is absolutely terrible. It really is bad. When you consider how expensive the machine is compared to a normal laptop or to another, a non-Mac laptop, it's inexcusable. And if you do a search online, you'll find thousands of people slating the MacBook Air camera quality and just about every MacBook. The camera is just awful. So what you're looking at right now is a Logitech webcam okay and no that's not the solution <laughs> if you just put a webcam on your macbook then typically it still looks very dark you need lighting and all sorts i actually use a software tool to improve the camera quality significantly now i did record a video some time ago where i talk about the macbook camera quality being so bad and show you the tool that i also use sometimes now that tool is called eyeglasses and I will put a link to that video in the description because you may want to take a look at that. That may work out even better for you than this tool. But let me just mention the differences quickly. Okay, eyeglasses is a paid tool. It's not a free tool, but of course you can try it for free. And that said, it's a one-time fee and it's a very low fee. And for what it does, it's fantastic. Now I like eyeglasses because it's very lightweight. OK, but the problem with eyeglasses is that sometimes it doesn't work with certain applications on your browser. And I need it that way sometimes. And the reason for that is a security reason. And it's not actually the software at fault. It's the way that all the applications have secured, have locked down their security. And it stops that third party software from accessing certain things that it needs in order to work. But eyeglasses does work with ScreenFlow, for example, when I'm recording videos and other things. OK, so I still use it. But as I say, you can use the trial and just test it out and see if it works for the things that you want it to work for. I like it because it's very lightweight. Now, this tool you can get for free, the one that I'm going to mention now, and it's called ManyCam. Now, it is a bit confusing setting it up, and that's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to show you exactly how you set it up so you can get up to speed very quickly. Now you can use ManyCam for free and access a lot of its features and most importantly, correct the camera quality, which is what we really want. But the problem with the free version, if it's a problem for some people, is that you will get a small overlay with the logo over the top of whatever you're recording. If you don't want that, then you, know, you can invest in the software like I did. It's not expensive. I think ManyCam is a yearly fee. It is, if I remember correctly. But as I say, it's not too expensive. And for what it does, it's well worth it. Now, the difference between ManyCam and eyeglasses is that eyeglasses is very light. It has a very light footprint. I really like it. And ManyCam is or can be quite resource intensive. If you don't have a lot of space on your hard disk, then you're going to struggle with ManyCam. So again, download that 30 day trial and just try it and make sure that it works for you. Okay, so what you'll want to do is go to the ManyCam website where you can download the software. And then once you have that in place, you need to be running the software. So you just click on ManyCam, which you can see now on your screen. And here in video sources, you add the MacBook Pro camera. Okay, now it might already be added there by default. I can't actually remember, but this is what it looks like. I've just selected the Facebook HD camera, which is the camera that comes inbuilt with the MacBook Pro. And this is what it looks like. Now, you know, if you're looking at this video, that your Facebook HD camera on your MacBook does not look like this. It looks very dark. It looks quite grainy. It's just very poor. As you can see with many cam, it's very, very bright. I'm not using anything special here. Oop, it's just switched camera. So let me go back to my 
my Facebook HD camera, okay? So I'm not using any lights or anything. I, the light is on up there, but it's just a normal light. And if I record a video with my HD camera, which I'm going to do in a second so that you can see the difference, then it's nothing like this. So as I say, you download Minicam, you run the software, you select Facebook HD in your video sources, and off you go. You start doing your video recording in whatever app you want, and you just make sure that it's working. Now, the thing is, I now use a webcam uh, just because the, <laughs> this is a weird thing, but the camera on the MacBook Pro, it's not dead on center, it's slightly to the side. And when I talk to clients or when I do consultations or I'm on a call with someone online, uh, I'm slightly off center and that bothers me. So I've just switched over to my webcam and at least with my webcam, it's on the top of my laptop rim. Yes, I called it a laptop. I know it's a MacBook, but it's a laptop. Come on. And you just move it along like this so I can be dead center. Okay, so that's why I use a webcam, but you don't have to buy a webcam for this solution. You can just use your inbuilt camera and just run Minicam and it will have that effect. So I'm going to record the normal video from the MacBook Pro and just show you what that looks like. And then you have a comparison. Okay, so this is my MacBook Pro inbuilt camera without many cam or eyeglasses running this is just the raw result okay so as you can see it's absolutely hideous it's not acceptable apple well done for selling such an expensive machine and putting a camera in there that is just pants okay so let's switch back to many cam okay so you can see the difference the macbook camera is just pants let's face it so I use this virtual software or eyeglasses, depending on the application that I'm using, but I always use it because I just cannot work with the inbuilt camera. Okay. As I say, I use a webcam now, but you don't have to use that. If you use the virtual software, either many cam or eyeglasses, then it will make your inbuilt camera miles better. So here I am at the many cam website and you can see that you can download the software for free and just start using it. As I say, it will just have that overlay. But if I show you the pricing page, you'll see that it's $29 a year. I think there's a deal going on right now. And the normal price, it looks like $39 a year, which is not bad at all. Okay. So when you consider that you have this problem with your inbuilt camera, and if you, especially if you're trying to record video for YouTube or for anything, presentations, then it just doesn't look professional because it's so dark. So for $39, it's a lot cheaper than buying a lighting rig. Okay. So many cameras, I'll put a link in the description uh, so you can go and check it out. And I'll also put a link to the other video where I talk about the other virtual software. You may want to try that as well and try one and the other side by side and just see which one works better for you. Okay, so if you like this kind of video, make sure that you subscribe. But in the meantime, take it easy and I shall see you in the next video.